You're acting like it's your first time. Jeez. Uh, it's not Fuck my it. first time. I promise. I swear. <laughs> I record lots of audio for lots of different reasons. My voice memo. Whoa. My voice memo. <laughs> All the brutal hentai voice acting I have to do. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, senpai. Ooh, yes, senpai. <laughs> Ooh, maybe senpai. <laughs> Ooh, perhaps senpai. <laughs> <laughs> I guess senpai. <laughs> Uh, TTYL, senpai. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't think of another one. <laughs> Without it just sounding blatantly bad. <laughs> LOL, senpai. <laughs> LOL, senpai. <laughs> LMFAO, senpai. <laughs> Roar, senpai. <laughs> Roar, senpai. <laughs> XD. XD. <laughs> oh, this is fucking gold. And action. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> See, we're missing the lights. We're missing the lights. camera. But we do have the action. Dude, do you remember that song? Lights back in the day. All of the lights. Turn yeah. up the lights in here, baby. It comes in my head XD. at least once a day. Dude, or do you remember that one song where it's like, release your inhibition, feel the rain on your skin. No one, one else can, can feel it for you. you. No one else can let it in. Bro, that shit bust. <laughs> bro, that shit was banging back then. Oh, I fucking love that song, bro. I was singing a song. Uh, What was it? <laughs> I wish you would step back from that ledge. That ledge, my friend. My I was thinking that yesterday, all day yesterday, for some reason. It's just like, it was on a TikTok or something, and it was just stuck in my head all day. <laughs> for, for some reason, when I'm driving, bro, and my my uh, car radio has a grounding issue right now with the wiring, so anytime okay. it rains, like, my radio doesn't work. Damn. And, uh, yeah, dude, it sucks. And, uh, but uh, randomly, it'll just pop in my head. And I'll start off, like, quiet, you know, like, John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith, his name is my name, too. And, like, next thing you know, I'm, like, saying it out loud, bro. Yeah. I'll do that sometimes with, like, a bunch of random shit. Like, sometimes I'm just, I have, like, a trillion thoughts going through my head every second of every day. And there will be times where I'll say these out loud. And it, it will be at the worst part. I'm not going to, I can't give an example, but it would just be like, and I'll like say it out loud, Shiloh would be around and she'll be like, what did you just say? And I was like, uh, I was, I don't know. Dude. Con- the context isn't yes. there. <laughs> yeah. They get, they get part of the story then. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> they, said, they said, fuck, I didn't see the first episode. What happened? Oh yeah. You're on episode like 39. You just got a little <laughs> snippet of that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of world building that you missed, plot <laughs> key plot points that are mm-hmm. just like you have no context for. Character development. Character development. My brother died like two years ago. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't know because it was in mm-hmm. the other episode. Anyways, guys, hey, my name is uh, Chase. Welcome to the uh, Something Original podcast. And I'm Gannon. Sorry, I didn't know if you were, if you were gonna say. No, else. yeah, no, it's I I kind of. <laughs> fluffed it up honestly i've fluffed up the intro we've been doing this for like what 40 something episodes and i can't even get the freaking intro right here let me let me no let me start over welcome back guys to the uh something original podcast my name is chase whoa and i'm gannon Hey, Gan. I just want to give us a quick little shout out here. We are on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. That's right. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe if you like what you're hearing. But I also want to say, guys, we have the Patreon. Go give us a uh, go give us a follow, subscribe. We have Gannon's book, Death Our Friend, on there, and we also have a new show, Next Caller. First episode is also up there. We're going to try to start getting more content on the Patreon for you guys, but stay tuned for that. Go give us a subscribe. It's only $5 a month. 
Wait, did you say five smackaroonies? I said like ten smackaroonies because no. the, the equivalent the the equivalency of smackaroons and dollars they don't equal up, you know, because the dollar has more value. Buying power. It does. Uh, yeah, you know, the smackaroon their economy kind of just dipped a little bit the past few but, years. But so I heard that uh, you know. There's like no gold in the banks. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just Why did we go off the gold standard for one? I just want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we we went off of something that could essentially run out, especially when it's being used as like people's plating on cars. Exactly. <laughs> well, now, well, now I I see. I kind of understood the gold standard it was like we based our money against something you know but now we we've basically went away to nothing like we don't base our money on anything and i understand like why we can't just print more money but why don't we just print more money i think it, i think it's kind of fun in a way you know we just like <laughs> live in a made up world you know <laughs> yeah no this this world it's like just... that no go ahead sorry it's that part it's like that part you know it's like it's a f- sh- sh- fucking fairy dust, you know? Yeah. Fugazi, fugazi. It doesn't even fucking exist. What What do you think the <laughs> fakest part of life is? The fakest part of life, dude. The fakest part of life, I think, is when we have this made-up idealism in our head that it would take that we would take monetary value over human life. Hmm. Yeah, I love that actually. Because then it true. makes everything seem synthetic. When you've literally based all of your energy and everything you do in your life around a fucking piece of paper or fucking numbers on your fucking screen and your bank card. I know that's simplified, and I know money helps, but mm-hmm. if that is your only sole purpose in life, you're not fucking human. Yeah, when you know people are like, that's the big thing, the big conversation right now during for like work in corporate america right now is like people want more free time people want to like instead of working to live people want to live or no it's like people are living to work but ah uh, yeah i guess that's, that's the same thing working to live no no we're, we're like we're we're working to live right yeah basically but yeah. we 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 don't ever work around life you know or we live around our work is that does that make sense yeah it's like it's part of their it's part of our like like our personality in a way it's so mm-hmm. fucking weird bizarre if you look at it it's so weird like people no, are like be like, like how what like so what do you do man like what 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 are you about in life man You're like oh dude you know i just fucking work on cars dude yeah i love cars and you guys know this i love cars but it's like Okay, it's like, oh, dude, that's it. You don't like anything. The the, the um, worst, he... the worst part about all of it is like when people, when you're meeting somebody and introducing yourself to a new person, they're almost their first question is, "What do you do?" Yeah, like yeah. as a job, like yeah. what? You, I... you should basically ask like, what what like numbers are like. <laughs> who you are you know what i mean like what, what numbers are you yeah you know? oh you know i'm i'm number seven hundred and thirty-three thousand. you know yeah oh okay that's it dude yeah hey, man you've got you're quite young on the spectrum man weird <laughs> exactly it's just like <laughs> well i mean we are basically numbers in the system you know yeah that's it. our social yeah. our social security number it's uh you know if you guys want to drop those in the comments below that'd be great but um yeah, we do TurboTax. <laughs> we can do t- <laughs> Did you hear uh, TurboTax <laughs> getting sued, actually? No. What Why? What do you mean, though? Because I did mine through TurboTax, bro. Well, I, I did mine through TurboTax, too, but TurboTax is uh, shady as F. And this is why. They claim they scalp? to be... Huh? They scalping? No, I don't, I don't think they are. They, they're, you know how they're always like, free file file for free today yeah it's never it's never free so there it's like 
false advertising, you know? Mm. So that's why they're getting sued. And we shouldn't have to pay to file our taxes. Anyways, if you make under like 70000 a year, you should almost always be able to file your taxes for free, period. Yeah, I agree. No, that's, I mean, that's like the law. Or it's not the law, but it's like, it's I'm just saying the like, system in place, you know? Yeah, but I'm saying like, even for like people that like go to H&R and shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that also know. costs money too. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's, bro, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I don't know. We got to pay money to give money to the government. It's just, what the hell? Yeah. It's so fucking weird. And it's like, it's so, like, no one talks about it. It's just so normal. It's just so, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially, like, I don't know. I mean, like, even when I was out in, like, out west, dude, people barely ever talk about this shit. (laughs) Nobody talks about it? Life is so weird. Not, I mean, like, I don't know, like, Trent Adrian, you know, like, we get these kind of conversations all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I get why we need to pay taxes. Obviously, we live in a society. We need to uphold the infrastructure in society. And we need to give money to the less fortunate to just create safety nets, X, Y, and Z. But the thing is, almost half of all of our tax dollars goes to the military for defense, quote, unquote, which... Uh, I mean, who are we defending against when we're actively in other countries trying to destabilize the regions well, and these I countries? I think they do it like broad topic. I think they just do broad topic fucking military so then they can just fucking throw all of our money to like other countries. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what it is. They just, uh, what did they do? They just gave like $600 million to like Saudi Arabia. We're not even homies with Saudi Arabia. What the hell is going uh, on? Th- that's bro. <laughs> at, people just start asking fucking questions. People, people that have like placement to be at, especially asking these questions. Please, for the love of God, all of us, for everyone around us, please start asking questions. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, I'm not no fucking. I don't got no fucking journalist pass. You know, fucking go up there and be like, "Hey, man, what's up with this?" You know. Someone, please. It's just like... I need a hero. I think as Americans, we are extremely lazy in that aspect, you know? Mm. When we do see wrongdoing happening in our country or something that our country's doing, we might speak up about it here and there, you know? But then it's just like we, we're stuck in this routine where we are like, all right, you know, I tried to... I used all my PTO. I have to, like, go back to work now. Because I, I need to work to get a paycheck just so I can survive. And if I and if I don't decide to work, then I am behind on my bills and uh, will fall out of the system and, like, honestly have a, worth, a worse living experience. Yeah. Dude, like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's all, I think it's all kind of backwards, man. Well, that's, um... I've been, because, I mean, we're just, we're at a point of, like, late-stage capitalism, and it's it's going to collapse one day. Like, that's just how it's going to be. That's what predi- early predictions are saying. Capitalism's just going to fall eventually, and it's going to fall soon. Uh, hopefully, I don't know, because it, it'll either fail slightly, gradually, and we can hopefully transition to a new system that benefits uh, the people over corporations and the ultra wealthy or it will crash significantly terribly uh, extravagantly you know and it'll only hurt the people most vulnerable which is like you and me and everybody else (laughs) i just don't understand i cannot fully fathom that mindset like you have unlimited resources You have a world where you see all kinds of pandemonium spread everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to change it at all. No. Like, even, like, when it was, he, uh, Elon offered to do that, what was it, the water, it was Water for Africa, wasn't it? I thought it was just ending world hunger. And, or ending, even, even better, right? (laughs) Even better, yeah. 
Why? But he, then he's got to do like the follow up question. Like, he, what did he ask for? Like the how much it would be? Well, it, it was given. It was already said. Like it would cost six billion dollars to end world hunger, which honestly is a small amount. I was thinking about that because we, we were news just came out today that Elon Musk just bought Twitter for forty four billion dollars today, and that's actually. Bro, what? Oh my! <laughs> I didn't he, even put those two together. I didn't yeah. even put those two together till right now. What? A, what the fuck, bro? Let me finish this thought. He he bought Twitter for forty four billion dollars. Didn't ask a question about it. He was like, "I'll buy it just for the memes, you know, just for trolling." LOL. Uh, but he he literally like tried to go through hoops on the like solving world hunger like just literally giving six billion dollars that is nothing for elon musk six billion dollars that's like what like two percent of his wealth i don't even know pocket change yeah but he he literally was like i want a detailed list of how exactly six billion dollars would end world hunger but he's like oh let me buy twitter because it's why not you know (laughs) That's so, ew, ewy, <laughs> yeah. ewy, 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 gross, double ewy. It's terrible, 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 like world that we're living in. That is like, and yeah, that dude. That's why it makes it feel fake. Yeah, it's it like, does. like you got these billionaires wearing fucking big ass cowboy hats, flying themselves to the moon. What the fuck do you want me to think? Yeah, <laughs> what do you want me to think? My guy. <laughs> so I also saw an interesting uh, little factoid about this. The hmm. the what you remember what happened in the 1700s in France? Yeah, America. No. <laughs> <laughs> America, yes, America right? also happened. But what else was going on in the world? And uh, especially in France, what was happening in France? What was happening in France? Um, there was like that overthrow with, uh, mm-hmm. fucking what's, what's their names where they were like, Hey man, we're tired of all this bullshit. So then they cut their heads off. Yeah, exactly. Even, they... e- even farther fun fact toy from you. Her Marietta, Ohio is named after that woman. Really? Yeah. What Marietta, the fuck? Ohio. Yeah. Wait, the, the bad person or the good person? Which they liked her. Before, like, before everything, like, went sideways. Oh, yeah. They named, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, they named it, at, and then, then she got, like, you know. <laughs> yeah. The, the, uh, let the meat cake girl. What? What? Yeah, that's her. The let the meat cake. What's that mean? That just means, like, so what was happening in France was the wealth inequality between the ultra-wealthy and the lower tier people were what it was just extra it was exponentially different you know so the the wealthiest people had so much wealth it you know they they had more wealth than any of the other people combined basically uh and what had followed up with that was they you know France just revolted the workers were like we are dying you know we don't have any money to pay for food for living for x y and z so they were like all right let's just start chopping everybody's heads off we'll take the money for ourselves and the funny thing about that is the same wealth disparity the same wealth inequality that happened in france in the 1700s is happening now in america it's at the same level it's actually even higher everything needs fucking balance this is like that like people wonder why people get so fucking sick of things no it's just like like what do you expect you know you you got an entire nation that gets to a boiling point it's almost like they want that shit to happen so Weird. this this is actually something I wanted to get into since we're just going on a rant about just wealth inequality and just the failures of the world right now. Um, climate change. 
You heard about that, right, Gan? Uh, just a little bit. I'm just kidding. Just yeah. Little, <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, I've, I think I've read that somewhere in a tweet. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> so I guess. Uh, oh, there's a cu- there's a couple things that I wanted to talk about with climate change. Um, did you hear about the guy that set himself on fire at on the Supreme Court steps, like this weekend? Did not. So this is. <laughs> so that's if a Japanese guy, thing. Is it? Yeah, that's like a. I saw that in recently in a, like a Japanese movie. Well, it's actually uh, a, an American movie, but it oh. takes place in Japan. Oh. That's a whole another side tangent we can get back <laughs> into because it's a good. It's actually a really good movie. What was it? It was Tokyo. It was called Tokyo something. It was with uh, Ansel Egg Eggcourt Egg, and I haven't seen anything with him in it. You know what I'm talking? Baby Driver, Fault in Our Stars. Oh yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Like, I haven't seen him for a while, and I was like, dude, it was, like, on the front of HBO, and I was like, I'm going to just check this out. Tell me why, bro. This man was speaking perfect Japanese, bro. What the heck? He it's was, like, like, dude, huh? I'm I'm learning Japanese right now, so it'll be like me. Dude, yeah. That's fu- That's sweet, though. I, I, I saw that. That's sweet, bro. I appreciate it, man. That, like, that's so, I, I, learning a second language is tedious. It's really, I yeah. I mean, it's it's hard. It's cha- it's got its challenges, obviously, with n- learning a new language. But I mm-hmm. think learning a language for like just your first language is probably the hardest part. And then everything just kind of transitions. You can find like certain like things that are similar in some instances, mm-hmm. but um, that's just kind of like how I'm doing it. Yeah. But Japanese right. is honestly a pretty easy language to learn. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to get more difficult, but. Uh, so far, like it's it's just remembering what characters are what and uh, like what they mean. Mm. I'll throw this out there for all my Ohio peeps. Uh, good morning in Japanese is Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Ohio. we've been around forever. I know. That's where El- Elden Ring takes place here, but. <laughs> The the movie he fucking was also like yeah he was writing ja- he was writing in Japanese because what he was doing was trying to find a way to take down the Yakuza yeah dude it was actually like I was like because he started off as a um like an English uh what's the word I'm looking for where he's teaching English to Japanese people English like instructor yeah yeah he was doing that at first. And at the same time, he was learning Japanese. Like, he was, like, well, he already knew Japanese, but he, I don't know. It was crazy because pretty much, like, the whole movie, he's speaking in Japanese. Yeah. And, like, he'll switch to English sometimes when, when like, the other characters in the, the uh, movie would speak English to him. Mm-hmm. But, dude, <laughs> it was pretty intense. I was, like, this is, like, and I feel like I didn't see nothing about it. But in that movie... Uh, one of the guys sets herself on fire, and there's also like an actual like historical. Um, when when did that happen? I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna. I feel like such an idiot. I don't remember that. But Gandhi there was, like, a monk set I... himself. Gandhi set himself on fire. In was protest. it? It was Gandhi. Yeah. See, like yeah, <laughs> but they have. Wait, wait. Gandhi wasn't Japanese though. I'm yeah, he's Indian. Indian. Yeah. Who am I thinking of? There was another uh, one. I think you're thinking of Gandhi. Know. Gandhi was the most infamous one that set himself on fire, I think. Infamous? Infamous. Was yeah. Gandhi a bad dude? Um, Yeah, he kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> I didn't know this. <laughs> yeah, he, he was kind of like, he he would like, uh, what did he fucking do? He, he was very racist, for one. Uh, he, like... He liked younger girls, like young younger girls and stuff. Uh-oh. I think he, I think he even slept with a few of them, but because he was Gandhi, it was just like, mm, I guess. Oh, uh, like Rasputin. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Not nice, but nice. Lots of cool. Lots of like quotes that I've like looked up by this guy. Man, Gandhi. Yeah. He That's sucked. fucked. And he, um, the the reason why he set himself on fire too was uh, in protest of like um, Britain's uh, 
Fuck. taxation without representation? <laughs> I'm just Basically. No, I mean, it was when Britain was, like, in control of India. Yeah. And it was during, like, the India war with Britain, and they, like, tried to get independence. And it was, like, <laughs> they basically already, like, India had won. Like, Britain was just like, all right, you guys can have your independence. And then Gandhi set himself on fire, like, a couple weeks after. Like, they had already decided that they wanted to gain independence or give India independence. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he set himself on fire, like, for basically no reason. What a silly guy. Yeah. What a silly racist guy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh how the turns have tabled hey, but um yeah yeah supreme court supreme court said, so yeah. yeah some guy from colorado actually set himself on fire on the supreme court steps and died like you would do if you set yourself on fire you know um but this is the crazy thing this isn't the first time this has happened this year well, why we don't why don't we hear about it i don't know but this one or the max or the maxwell trial side note Matt, well, yeah. Is that still going on? I thought it ended. See, that's what I'm... Dude, bro, I love Johnny Depp, but I feel like things are getting covered up. I love Johnny Depp to death. Amber Heard, leave him alone. But, <laughs> f- dude, it seems kind of sus. No, I do think there's a lot... There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Uh, there's another thing I wanted to talk about with the Supreme Court, which is actually why I think this guy did it. So this guy set himself on fire and killed himself in protest for climate change. Since we are just doing absolutely nothing, scientists are even like out protesting themselves, like locking themselves to like oil companies' doors so they couldn't get in, and they're just like you can't keep doing this. We're all going to die, basically. Um, But I guess a few weeks ago, uh, the Supreme Court ruled to end, like, that Water Regulation Act where companies were no longer allowed to be dumping chemicals and trash and pollution, just basically polluting the water. Like, this was ruled forever ago. They were like, okay, you guys can't do that. Um, The Supreme Court, on a shadow document ruled to allow companies to start dumping into water again so there was no there was no media coverage because it was on a shadow dock so it didn't even like it didn't get any but any attention at all and it was ruled in the five to four decision right before that new uh supreme court nominee was uh put through so i don't know if that would have helped any but it still went through (coughs) but why is this? Why does it exist? What is it? Why I, does a shadow dock exist? That's what I'm saying. I didn't know that, just, that was a that thing. Seems, the the own the own title for a document like that is so condescending to we are the people. Yeah, and for what one, the fuck? I think, I think the current state of the Supreme Court actively goes against like American like rights. Basically, like it goes against everything like what America used to stand for. In my opinion. It's no longer we the people, because I don't know if you know this, but, like, all of the newest, like, Supreme Court uh, judges that have recently been added, they all come from this, like, Federalist Society, where it's, like, a ultra-religious, super-corporatized uh, foundation that uh, has their own sort of agenda. And it, it's all right there. It's, it, like, the foundation exists, they basically lay out what they're trying to do and it's just trying to make america like a white christian nation again that obviously uh cooperates with corporate america so that's why i think they uh ruled for that water regulation act to end so strange it's so fucked up but god this is another thing i wanted to go in about climate change i think the reason why a lot of stuff is getting covered up right now and a lot of people, like a lot of world governments, especially our government, just doesn't give two fucks about climate change, is because of the possibility that if climate change was to get serious enough and, you know, basically uh, crop failure, they're saying crop failure by 2030, massive crop failure by 2030. They're saying if like stuff like that starts to happen, it'll basically era in 
or usher usher in a era of fascism all over the globe and so it'll basically mean that like every country will have to be like the citizens of their country will have to be dependent on the military uh immigration policies will get <clears throat> a lot more stricter and obviously with food and water resources diminishing they'll have to like it'll basically become like an authoritarian rule all over the all over the globe and basically whoever has the strongest military by at the end will be able to conquer everything else because they'll the dependency on everything will just be so uh like it will just be there so like militaries will just be like trying to get all these supplies from other countries or we could just abolish government start all of it over fuck all this fucking bullshit government we got it's not even real none of it's real uh get rid of it this all this idealism that we all all, that every single person on this earth hates another person on this earth if we all just band together get rid of this government we have in place start anew there's so much that could change just so much If the corporate, even if if there's corporations that would have a change of heart and would want to jump on board, so, like, you know, if you look at the wealth, you know, these big businesses, these big CEOs and shit that are making all these billions, that like, you know, they almost make, like them combined make more than like all of us. Yeah. Like everyone. Mm-hmm. So if we just like would work together, you know. As humans do, socializing, working together. We all like if you think about it, at the beginning we all started off as a bunch of fucking tribes. Yeah. Kind of crazy to think about. No matter where, what part, what hemisphere of this fucking earth you came from, everything started from us a group of people just trying to make it. And exactly. then next thing you know, you it's formed into countries, and then people started getting fucking greedy and just wanted to fucking start killing everyone else. Yeah. It's just like, why? Why do that? You know that big that big tribe at the beginning? Or that small tribe at the beginning? Fucking make it a tribe around the fucking world. Difference, then. That'd be a big difference. And it sounds insane to even talk about. It's, it feels weird even saying it. Because of how everything in the society is formed. Yeah. Sorry. And rant. <laughs> and rant. Uh, but, yeah, I mean... that I think that's just... That's the scariest thing, in my opinion. Like, climate change, yeah. It would... It would suck, you know, just having to go through, like, fire, tornadoes, no water, uh, like, obviously f- crop failure would just be devastating. Um, but just, like, having to go through, like, a hyper-militarized country, like, because I, I, they're saying, like, if it would happen, there would be, like, you wouldn't be able to cross state lines at certain points you know so it'd be kind of like covid but it would just be like both conservatives and like democrats i think they're both looking forward to this shit i think they want this like crazy authoritarian rule over the entire country because it just it would for one make sure they're safe and they would enrich themselves and they would make sure they have adequate supplies for them and their families and just it would leave all of us out to dry you know right i'm just i'm not looking forward to like the uprising honestly because it's gonna happen you know we are gonna rise up if you know and it will be inevitable you have to you have to so let's start now let's try and start a movement to get our goddamn government, the people who represent us, we the people, let's start to make them do something. Right. Anything to help the appending situation, you know? It's going to happen. Scientists have been studying it for hundreds of years by now. Corporations have been steadily but effectively stopping any progress that science is making they've lobbied government to be like it's not a real thing and that's what the government will regurgitate you know but now it's now it's just too common now it's actually affecting 
other parts of the world. So we, so they can't say anything now. They're like, yeah, it's happening. We promise to hit net zero by 2050 when that it won't even fucking matter. You know, it just makes it like, if you just look at all of every, all of it, the whole enchilada, you know, mm-hmm. I love it. It's just me too. I love them. Eat them up. But it's just like, I just don't understand how we have a play by like a play by play of the Johnny Depp case. <laughs> Exactly. A play-by-play. Literally, you can watch pretty much the whole fucking thing on Facebook. Yeah. Or or Instagram or fucking everywhere you go. You know what I mean? And that's what I said. I Once again, I love Johnny Depp. He's in like my top 10 favorite actors of all time. I love Johnny Depp. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, you know, what's happening is terrible. Yeah. But the fact that the entire world is obsessing over it, is obsessing over it, just shows like you know what i mean it's like um like moths to like a fucking zapper you know yeah. kind of shit mm-hmm. i don't know that's just how i'm feeling because it's just like because even before this and it's now it's like so periodic that you know things are like coming out and like will smith fucking smacking chris rock that was that's still on there there's memes yeah. i see today you know, and it's like, okay. But we, but we don't talk about like the real shit, like the Maxwell, Maxwell. trial that yeah. absolutely should have been televised, and it should have been, it should have just brought, it should have, it should have been there. Like people should have heard about it. We we ha- we should have got a play by play. The Twitter accounts that were actually doing the play by plays, they got taken down by Twitter. I I also have a theory with that. Okay, let's let's hear it. Jeffrey Epstein. Is still alive. A hundred percent. I think that's just common knowledge. You know what I mean? Because the suicide, because we we think of things like it's just like a either either or, right? He actually Mm -hmm. killed himself from guilt. Yeah. Or it was an inside job. Yeah. But I think if you you take it a little farther, they even put that 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 thought of an inside job in there to throw you off that he's actually still alive. Mm -hmm. Because all of his buddies want to make sure that someone like that's okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, they just, they just don't because it's it's like almost every single powerful person went to one guy to get his child oh sex toys. You know, <sighs> that is sickening for one. That should be that's the most like heartbreaking thing ever, and it's it it almost like it's every single major political figure every single major like leader in the world had some weird involvement with this guy elon musk even he has a picture what, with dude, fucking glay maxwell and, and what is well then i think even farther what if this jeffrey epstein guy was in something even deeper like what i don't know i don't something <laughs> like i don't know very dark well, I, I think, well, his island, what is it, it could, little, little Saint, Little Boy Island, or whatever the fuck? Yeah. Something. I, but, I, don't, but, I don't mean to make a joke about it, but there's, but, like, still people working on that island. Like, there's people still there, like, doing maintenance, quote-unquote. Like, that's that's a little sus. Like, this guy just see, went wh- to jail. You know what, what he was doing on this island. Why the fuck are you still here doing? doing work on the island because people are weird case <laughs> dude the thing like because you know how you know he almost seems like some kind of blackmail tool does that make sense yeah because blo- it seems like by the day we're finding out more celebrities more political figures more power heads are seen with this motherfucker, dude. Different pictures come up all the time. Of even paintings. Mm-hmm. And it just it makes you think, like, if they slip up for the dark organizations, then I feel even fucking sus even trying to explain this because I I don't know. I don't want to deep I don't want to I don't want to end up like the guy that was trying to switch to water powered cars, if you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. No. Um but it just seems 
sus is what I'm going to say. All of it seems yeah. sus. Take everything into account if you if you're into that kind of shit, and then put it together, and then and then th- tell me what you think because it seems because I I just feel like there's more because if he's dead or if he's hit by the CIA or whoever probably not even CIA they just put their own acronym on it and then you know what was I saying and then there's a part <laughs> that he's still alive which yeah. then. I don't know. I'm kind of like rambling because I'm like at the same time anxious because I don't <laughs> There's know. There's going to be a knock on your door any second now. Yeah, because dude, I am I'm a, I'm a nut case, so that helps out. So they probably just think I'm fucking crazy. Yeah, they ever off do. you. They'll be like the demons were talking to him. He told us <laughs> in the letters. He even said it on the podcast a couple times. <laughs> Essentially. But you know, <laughs> It just makes you, I don't know. It made, it, these are the things I just like think about, like if my car radio is not working, you know? <laughs> Literally. Like I'll just, just randomly start thinking about it. I'm like, why? I just, I, I, I question existence probably about 10 times a day. What's going on? Why is this happening? Well, let, let's, I kind of want to talk about that a little more because you, you said like they kind of left in the fact of an inside job being a possibility, but it was like, uh, it can't actually happen, whatever. The I think the fact that this guy tried to kill himself a couple days before he succeeded, quote unquote, uh, the fact that he for one wasn't or he was on suicide watch but was taken off like a day later that never should happen for one, two, the cameras just uh conveniently stopped working the day he killed himself and both bodyguards supposed to be watching him were asleep they just were asleep you know and the guy first of, <laughs> first of all if it's anything like the military you wouldn't be sleeping if you were supposed to be watching that kind of motherfucker yeah it's one of the like biggest maximum security like uh prison facilities in new york that was watching him you know that I mean, especially with a high profile guy like Jeffrey Epstein, he absolutely should have been watched twenty four seven without the suicide watch shit, and, you know? And he, and even if they are slackers and there's two of them on watch. Yeah. Even if they are slackers, one takes watch while the other one sleeps. Everyone knows that. So what the fuck? This is no. Yeah. That's all it's all in. They're all in. Fuck yeah. it. Come for me, boys. And bring it. And the the fact that the Department of Justice, the the current head of the Department of Justice, uh, Anthony Barr, there uh, in the Trump administration, he had ties with Epstein, just like Donald Trump did. Also, he he was very uh, close with the family of Epstein, <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, we'll investigate it. This is a very serious thing." It's basically like saying we investigated ourselves and didn't find any. At wrongdoing you know what i'm saying but that's what they said yeah that's what they they said they investigated it but they claimed it was still like a suicide but the director of the department of justice at the time had ties to jeffrey epstein i know it, it an- seemed kind of backwards but they should have his um what's the word i'm looking for um it's right there on the edge of my tongue. Like this autopsy. Uh, oh, yeah. This autopsy. That that should be a thing. I know that seems kind of sick and backwards, but and sick like, dude, have no, his they, autopsy they as like sh- a public. They showed thing. his autopsy. And what is and I don't know. They, I need more proof, bro. No, well, this is the thing. His autopsy was even super sus too. Like, <laughs> they had a they had. Like, two doctors say that there's no way... Because the way they say he killed himself was, like, he tied, like, pillowcases around the bed and, like, he choked himself. He hung himself from a from a bunk bed that isn't high enough for one to effectively, like, hang yourself from. Uh, two, he, bro- he broke a, a bone in his neck that... Uh, almost never gets broken if you're hanging yourself. It's only ever if you're <laughs> being strangled. It, he broke a bone that 
is more common in like strangulation cases and not like hanging cases. It can still happen, but it's super Mm. rare. Two doctors uh, said like he, I mean, this wasn't a normal case of like hanging. It was more of like a strangulation. And both of those two doctors, they, they threw those like uh, uh, testimonies out and they brought it in a third doctor that was like, yeah, he hung himself. And they, they went with that one. Of course. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, what the hell? What is going on? Man. There's so many just dark entities, like, running our whole entire world. And we we just don't have the power. We're just not in positions of power to, like, do anything effectively except for, like, a tearing the entire system down but as a result of that it's like a lose-lose situation for us if we if we do the most radical thing but probably the most effective thing we will usher in an era of like chaos almost because we were dismantling a system that did sure it it doesn't work it's not effective and it's incredibly corrupt but at the same time there's so many of those systems in place that do help people, it will, it will inevitably cause harm to certain people. But at the end of the day, it might usher in a, a new era of better, (laughs) more community wise system. I don't know. For, for my fellow tarnished, what ending do you want? (laughs) Basically, do you want the super hard ending where you have to fight like, 900 of the world's hardest bosses or do you want the or do you want the default ending where you just kind of coast through a system of like never-ending wage slavery dystopia and dystopia exactly (laughs) those are your two options (laughs) yeah there's no blood lord in this world not yet i mean this probably is some in some place hidden into a top secret base somewhere but well jeffrey epstein was a vampire did you not know that he, how how so? I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say how fucking so. It's like yeah. Have you not known? There's vampires. Like, like they they announced that last year. They wouldn't pick somebody like that. What do you mean? I don't Vamp- think you if get it was picked. Like, you know, like if you're a vampire, like I I you, feel like if it was like a royal vampire, they wouldn't be like, come on. They'd be like that filth. Ugh. I'm good. But, nah, he's rich and famous. He probably didn't look. I, he was a scumbag to us, but in the world, the higher up world, he was looked on like a fucking royalty, you know? Ew. <laughs> Ew. Exactly. It's just so crazy, man. Ugh. I don't even want to think about it, honestly. Didn't you have a topic that you wanted to talk about? Yes. And actually, it's a, it's a more cheery American background. Um, so, um, my, it's kind of personal, like, so my therapist, um, brought up this topic talking about Ulysses S. Grant, and it was in relations to, like, grief, um, but, so, Ulysses S. Grant, or I'm gonna just call him old U.S., so, back in the day, everyone depicts him as, like, a fucking cowboy, right, and when I hear U.S. Grant, that's what I think of, and that's why I was like, oh, hell yeah, let's talk about U.S. Grant, I'm fucking down, you know, a little yeah. did I know that was a trap talking about grief. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not a trap. It's actually kind of like, it's, it was good. And, um, but so U.S. Grant is always depicted as this cowboy. But so in one of these battles where it lasted three days, I think it was somewhere in Tennessee. And he was yeah. cutting off the trade to the south like a fucking man, like a patriot, right? Making mm-hmm. sure that they can't keep doing all this fucking evil. And the way, the reason why he drank continuously was to cope. It was a, he, he literally writes this all down in his journal. It was yeah. to cope with the pain that he felt on a daily basis from not just the death or the law, like not from just the death or the blood or the, the gore of the civil war, but the fact that he wasn't able to save his men. Mm-hmm. He writes down in his first, like, 
he writes down at one that after this, which I thought was kind of poetic. He sat down under this tree after like all you hear in the background is like like the screams of like your fallen comrades and he became numb and usually he, after every battle they said that he would go to his tent and cry from yeah. the loss and then he'd usually pass out come out the next day like nothing happened and after this he didn't go back to his tent he didn't drink he didn't cry he sat down under this tree and it started to rain and he wrote down in his journal he's like for i have no tears left so god must cry for me like bro i paraphrase it but bro yeah. like i don't know and <laughs> it's like for some reason that like i don't know, the fa- like i always depicted him as just like this macho dude you know yeah uh you know but no dude i i don't know i just thought that was interesting i think like having that angle to a lot of like men of history would help with like mental illness nowadays because I feel like a lot of people hold it in. I mean, I feel like a lot of people in general hold it in and I'm not just saying just men, but I'm saying in general, but Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like with toxic masculinity, I feel like a lot of it would be obliterated if we would look at it like this. Does that make sense? Am I making any sense with any of this? No, yeah, exactly. You're you're saying like Ulysses S. Grant, uh, one of the presidents of this country, he fought in the Civil War as well. He was more at, in like basic terms, just looked as like this war hero in the Civil War who helped free the slaves, and he was just just macho cowboy who was able to do that, and like he was just a badass during the whole time. But he obviously had like a lot of other issues going on in the background. Like he, he described how he was going through like grief and pain and, you know, he had like coping mechanisms and that led him to like alcoholism and X, Y, and Z, you know? And, uh, what, what you were also talking about how like toxic masculinity is such a prominent part in history and like our current modern day society. It's, it's a negative effect not only on like the rest of society and all other genders but it's it's a negative effect on men as well cuz we're we're taught from a young age as as boys is that you know men don't cry boys don't cry there's a song uh, about it exactly boys you sing? don't cry. <laughs> yeah i, I knew you were going to start song. singing <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah no, dude, I did mean to break. That's such a good song, but um. No, yeah, you're good. Yeah, no, dude, yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to say. I'm glad. Okay, so I'm glad it made sense because I felt yeah. like I was just going ping pong in my brain. It's just doop a doop a doop, you know. But I, I like, there's there's a statistic that I uh want to also bring up. It was like what is it? Like ninety percent of all suicides are f- come from men. Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, it and I think it could tie with uh, Jim. Like Jim Carrey says, like uh, depression. I what, how do you? He was talking about it like it was some kind of mask. Like you are constantly putting on this face, this facade that you're like you know somebody, mm-hmm. and like the depression sets in with toxic masculinity, things like that, and then it just it, it brings men to that point. Where they're exactly. like, I don't yeah. know who the fuck I am. I don't know what the fuck I want. I don't know what to do with all these emotions. Like, where can I throw them? I don't want to hurt people. Like, I just want, you know, these kind of things. And I feel like it could be evaporated if we were just real with ourselves and be like, boys, do you cry? Okay. They do. It happens. Yeah, you know what? We are, uh, we're humans. Yeah. Right. We're not robots. We're not robots. We we have emotions just because, you know, like, I don't, I, I just never even, like, I guess, like, I know where, like, toxic masculinity came from, but it's just, like, how have we gotten to a point where, like, men are no longer the heads of households, you know, now? It's not, like, just a common thing. Men don't dominate the workforce anymore. Men aren't 
you know, like the only ones that can do like these manly things, quote unquote, that are, you know, traditionally done by men anymore. It's everybody, you know, gender is a fluid, it's a spectrum, you know, it's, it's ever changing. And, (laughs) and the fact that we still keep these like whack ass traditions, we have this whack ass mindset of just like men need to be men. Like what define like a man, a man is just like, yeah, it's, it's a sex basically, Yeah. but a a a man can I, yeah, you know, just uh, usually somebody who's born with a penis, but I mean, that's, that's even changed as time has gone on too. Like scientists have realized that there are like seven different sexes now. There are a hundred different genders, seven different sexes. Did you know that, actually? I learned about that the other day. I didn't know about that. There are, like, seven different, like, chromosomal makeups that uh, determine a sex. So they, and it, it uh, so you can, like, have uh, male genitalia, but you can have more female-oriented hormones, you know? So you could be technically born as a man, but you could, like, more identify as feminine, you know? X, Y, and Z. You know, it's, it's, it, it fluctuates, for sure. And <laughs> the fact that we have an understanding like this now, and we, we're just ever-changing, society changes, toxic masculinity should just not be a thing anymore. And we should just allow people to do whatever the fuck they want, you know? express however they want to f- express feel how they want to feel yeah if it's not so to- if it's not infringing on rights that's like i'm all for it yeah i feel like uh yeah this is the land of the free and we should just be able to be free to do whatever we want as long as like Gannon was saying you're not harming somebody or infringing on anybody's rights exactly but um, uh, we have a. Do you want to get into some some original advice? Advice. Yes, that sounds good to me, bro. All right. Yeah, we're getting to the end of the episode, and we almost skipped right over it. <laughs> um, did you want to go first, or you want me to go first? Um, I, yours is like a not really a. I kind of want to. I, I kind of want to do mine. I feel like mine first, and your first. But okay. I'm not even like saying that. Like I think. Yours is just like a more, because I feel like you get a lot of tangents off my topic, but with your topic, I feel like there's a lot of room. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Go okay. Ahead. So my topic was simply the Mile High Club. So question it mark. is, yeah, the Mile High Club, question mark. Not, gotcha. It's more of a, of a statement, I guess, more of a topic. You know, okay. because I put I put on mine uh, advice slash topic. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I also kind of did that too, but yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, go ahead. My <laughs> high club. Do you have any experience with it? Do I have any experience with it? I mean, if you count like, um, starting at like seven a.m. sometimes, like smoking until about fucking noon, then you're mile high, because oh, then you forget yeah. breakfast. <laughs> what okay so what do you classify as mile high for like weed marijuana intake <laughs> what do you what do i count as mile high yeah what do you what do you like how much do you have to smoke or consume to get to a point of mile high i mean dude if i mean but then it all fluctuates because i mean I, honestly dude if i take like two decent sized dabs smack town 3000 okay that that'd be mile high i think that's I, like one well i think that's, mile high is like it should be unattainable but not as unattainable you know i feel like i'm saying three to four good hits of a dab oh shit yeah because okay. i mean you get you get high after two hits you know you're, I mean, you might be a little uncomfortable high, but I mean, it's it's a high. It's a still functional high. Mm. Three, you mix in a third one. It's like, <laughs> oh, okay, 
now I gotta fucking file my taxes on my calculator. <laughs> now I it's can't. a party. Now it's a party, you know, like <laughs> no more turbo tax, bro. I gotta do this shit by hand. Right. I gotta do this with a fucking scribe, dude. <laughs> I gotta do this with a scribe, bro. I got I gotta carry the one plus the two, if you know what I mean. Dude, I can't even find the two, bro. <laughs> it's a mile. Not two. Dude, where's my car? Where's my car? Wait a minute. What is, did I forget breakfast again? <laughs> that was two days ago. <laughs> and then you enter in the fourth dab. God damn, now you gotta go see a chiropractor. <laughs> now you gotta buy two, get one free. <laughs> now you gotta understand what it feels like to chew five gum. Now you understand that if you don't like Big Red, fuck you. <laughs> now you gotta understand the realization that you have no maidens. Uh. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. I can't think of one. Fuck. <laughs> no, you're good. I think, I think three is a good place for Mile High. Um, four, you're you're definitely over it for sure. Mm. If we're talking brownies, if you eat a whole brownie, a big one, I don't know how many millig- like how much how many milligrams you thinking? I'm thinking like three hundred milligrams. Uh, brownie wise, see, I don't like know or about just like the- edible, yeah. Uh, see, I don't. I'm not really good at like judging milli milli vanillies and shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It depends <laughs> on who makes them. I know somebody who's related to me who makes brownies sometimes. <laughs> um, and uh, those kind of smack, honestly. So I don't know. That uh, that remind. I don't know if I ever talked about it on the podcast, but back uh, uh during my <laughs> days, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of our one of our homies that worked there, um, won't name him, but he brought in an edible one time. It was like a little frog. It was a big frog, actually, and he told me to just take half if I was gonna eat it at work, and I was like, "Yeah, fuck that. I don't care. <laughs> like, Shit. what is it really? No, gonna whatever. Do? What listened. is it? I know. No, I should have listened. I should have listened, <laughs> but." I uh I took the whole thing, um and you know usually the meme is like oh you know it's gonna hit you in like thirty minutes it's gonna be you know you don't feel a thing uh, until thirty minutes I felt it after ten minutes I was like okay I'm I'm pretty high I'm pretty toasty uh thirty mi- no fifteen minutes I'm like I don't really feel good <laughs> I I uh I'm gonna go to the bathroom and just kind of like chill out for a sec. 30 minutes go by i'm on the floor of the bathroom oh nice uh contemplating calling the police because i think i'm gonna die nah yeah Dude, i think i remember you telling me this it was the it was the worst high i've ever gotten that surpasses mile high for sure but uh yeah so one, i just so yeah, one little I frog thought it was gonna die. one big frog one big frog. It wasn't little. It was big. It was like the size of uh, like my hand. So one big frog, mile high club. So that's what the equivalent is, what we're going with. No, it surpassed mile high for sure. I feel like okay. if I had half of that, I would uh, maybe be on the outside, maybe a third. Maybe a third of the frog, I would have been at mile high for sure. <laughs> I surpassed mile high with that. Yeah. Okay. But isn't isn't that funny? After like forty five minutes, somebody came knocking on the door, so I had to get out of the bathroom. <laughs> and I just went Dude. back to work, and I I messed up so many orders that day. It was so funny, bro. But I felt I felt better after that. I wish I was there for that, my guy. Shit. I it mean, like not, not like just to tell you it was okay, of course, and maybe maybe chuckle, but. Somebody else there also took a whole um, frog, also. 
and they oh, they, they also they just sat down for like an hour like on the <laughs> safe you know how we had that safe back there yeah, yeah they just yeah, sat yeah. down on the safe for like an hour <laughs> They did not move. I would look. I would peek over, and I'd just be like high as fuck. I'd be like, <laughs> but that was also the, after I like almost died. So the, the background debauchery that went on inside that. You call that a pot pie? <laughs> Honest, no, their pot pie slapped. I can't. Yeah. I can't lie, bro. I remember those end those end nights, bro. You get out there with them fucking buckets. We get those like mm. boxes, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, <gasps> they'd be like, you-, "You guys can't eat the food." I'm like, "Bro, <laughs> you're not about to throw three hundred dollars worth of food away right now." <laughs> no, nah, honestly, you know how like companies would just throw away food and all that shit. Like they they make sure like you do not um take food home or anything. Think, you know? Yeah. We we did the Lord's work, and by we just took whatever the fuck was left over. You know, for our families. For our families, which is still like. But if we were working there, so fuck it, you know? If you were working exactly. somewhere, I think the people that were closing, like, whatever food they want to take, bro, I think they, I think that should be for anything. Yeah, I no, that, that, that is a perfect description of socialism. <laughs> if you make it, something, you have the right to it. Yeah. But doesn't that make sense? And, and it would make more, it would make more sense even from a corporation because they, they would have more incentive. Exactly. People, because you know what's so hard to find in a fast food restaurant? Fucking closers, dude. No one wants to fucking yeah. close. No one does. Especially with that ice cream machine. Fuck that ice cream machine. Bro, that ice cream machine, I swear to God, like, we should have pulled uh, so many more McDonald's. Like, I, sorry, the ice cream machine broke. We did we did do it a lot, but we <laughs> not enough, I feel like. Dude, I'll never forget on that headset, bro, coming over the headset. I was working front, you were working drive through, and that soccer mom came through. She did her whole order of like eight different ice creams, and you go, Oh, our ice cream, she's not working. <laughs> That's you always know, like, when McDonald's ice cream machine was broken too, because we would get like an influx of ice cream orders at the yeah. end of the night. Yeah. I was like, because then it would be like we were considering closing the ice cream machine. Yeah. But then you would get like, hey, McDonald's ice cream machine broke. Can I get some ice cream? I'd be like, fuck, I guess. Because that's, that's whack, you know. We need yeah. some more ice cream uh, operators out there. That's true. Or, hear me out, dollar store. Get a pint for a dollar. Wendy's was over there too, so why don't they just fucking Dude, get yeah. a Frosty? Bro, Frosty's be smacking ten times more than all of my streams. Do be smacking that Wendy's though was kind of sus. It had like rats and shit, and like. Dude, this is extra protein. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> knock yourself that's out. Like, that's what I said. I said, like, give me some of that rat. God, I eat that, rats I for remember, breakfast, Jeremy. <laughs> I remember, like, at the end of my uh, reign, that. Uh, that company that will not be disclosed. Um, Wendy's was shut down like f- probably twenty times, like within that year, because there was there was just so many health problems with it. I was just like, we, you know, twenty times a charm. That's what they say. Yeah, so. you know, because I mean, I haven't heard of them closing down since. You know, so maybe twenty was. You know, it worked. They probably out. fired just about everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean. I feel like it's it like, can't only be the workers. It has to be like the yeah. equipment there, like keeping the food yes. like at an adequate temperature. Uh, cooking it has to kind of you know be hot. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Mile High Club. There's two parts to this because Mile. We talked about the weed. Sex. You ever been to oh, Mile yeah. High Club? No. No. It sounds like probable stds uh, yeah especially with how small that ba- i haven't either how small that bathroom is i just feel like it's not comfortable it's just something that you were like ha we did the mile high club but you just feel bad about it after oh i thought it was like a i thought it was like a oh i th- i had a totally different thought of what it was never mind what do you, what do you mean tell me your thought <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was like for like it was a secret club for like rich billionaires to like get on <laughs> a fucking jet with a bunch of like 
um, I'm trying to not. To th- I'm trying to think of a word that doesn't sound derogatory. Sex workers. Sex worker. That's what it was. That's what it yeah. was. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I literally could not think of it. I thought it was. Yeah. But yeah, you think it was just billionaires uh, hiring sex workers and just yes. going to town. Yeah, and then like flying in their next place. Well, you you never heard the stories of like Ricky down the block being like, "Yeah, me and my girl, we we did the Mile High Club." Ha huh? ha. No, not really. <laughs> oh, it was always in movies. I always heard about it in movies. That's how I knew about it. And then yeah, oh. it's just like you you go to the airport when when you're at the highest altitude of the plane, you go to the bathroom with your lady, but discreetly, obviously. And you just have sex in the bathroom. Oh, dude, I definitely. If I was, like, with someone, fuck, yeah. I'd be down. You, you think so? You ever, Oh, like, fuck, yeah, dude. I, I see. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know that. See, like, if I'm with someone, bro, fuck it, dude. Elevator. Wherever, bro. Down. But, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dude, that's awesome. That's to be sweet. But, no. You know how small those bathrooms are, though? I just feel yeah. like it's not, like, fun. I feel like it just wouldn't be fun sex, you know? I think it'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be all right. <laughs> I think it'd be all right with me. <laughs> Come on, man. All you have need are like, two people wide. <laughs> Fuck it. Have you ever, like, gone poop in an airplane? See, I can't say I have. I don't think I have either. I think I've tried before, but I just couldn't. Something about, like, how it just, like, gets sucked out from the, like... I mean, I would sit down to, like, smoke, but that's pretty much it. You can smoke in the bathroom? Not, like, smoke, but I just hit my vape a couple times. Uh, I'm telling. Go ahead. Actually, I would do it in my seat, too. (laughs) Put it in my sleeve, hold it in, (laughs) and on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what having a nicotine... Uh, the addiction looks like yeah that's yeah. that's full on yeah that's what it looks like <laughs> are you still uh are you still like smoking the smoke uh actually today um i did in the, in the morning a little bit but i switched to gum i'm kind of like trying to wean myself off of it slowly hell yeah man yeah that's what yeah because it's smoking's not good for you <laughs> yeah it's not good <laughs> Yeah, I know. I mean, I already smoke other stuff, so why not? Quit well, that comes from like, the earth. I know, that's what I'm saying. If I focus on that more. I heard someone quit by just continuously. See, I can't habitually just sit there all day do that. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I've, I, always, I've always... Uh, I'm just so proud of myself. Whenever I need to quit a bad habit, I... I and not, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm able to quit something cold turkey with, like, no issue. Damn. That's nice. Yeah, I know. I just, I don't think I have, like, an addictive, like, personality. Yeah. That's... And there's nothing I mean, like, against it, you know. Are you... Just... Do you know any family members that have, like, dependencies? Um, my parents, you know, they smoked, uh, like, my entire childhood. And I think that also helped. I saw, like, how they were like they were just unhealthy and you know that i could see it and i was just like i never want to be like that you know Mm. and but eventually it took them it took both of them like three to five years to quit smoking it'll be like that's like the toughest one i know everything everything else man i can like semi do well yeah i mean sometimes i get stuck but um (laughs) yeah you know, but nicotine is like the one where I'm like, fuck, bro. Well, they just put all those chemicals in cigarettes and stuff, and it's, and it, it, it literally is just meant uh, to be there to get you addicted to it. There's no other reason to have all the chemicals in it except to, like, keep you addicted. Mm. It's just, uh, I think that's just, like, the biggest thing for me also the fact that i i i have no problem with people like smoking pure tobacco but the fact that there's just so much chemicals in a cigarette it just turns me off i would absolutely smoke tobacco like hookah isn't hookah tobacco no not not pure tobacco oh what um is hashish 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 i think it's how it's pronounced 
Hashish? What? Hashish? What is that? Is it not tobacco? It's just like a cousin? I think it's like tobacco type shit beat, but with other shit in it. Uh, like, what are we talking? Other stuff. Like, I have paprika? No idea. Oregano? I, probably. Probably. Something like that. Hopefully I mean, it's not paprika that should be spicy. I went through a chop phase before. You ever heard of a chop? What is that? It's like where you, like, you have a bong and then, like, you put some some weeds in it and then above that you put tobacco oh i heard of that that just sounds like um, pain yeah what it is. yeah <laughs> it gonna, is that just sounds like back alley type stuff you know oh i mean that's i mean that's like what i am so but <laughs> so fucking they call me back alley johnny <laughs> Brats, essentially back alley billy dog back alley billy <laughs> Back Alley uh, Billy coming at you live. <laughs> oh, T-U-E. Um, but, yeah, dude, I would just, like, I would wake up, bro. This is during the pandemic. Lots of pain during the pandemic of, like, <clears throat> my heart and shit. So mm, then I would, yeah. I would like, take it to the next level, and I'd be like, 7 a.m., pain. You know what I want more of? I want some pain. more pain, bro. <laughs> you know, I go on the balcony and I would just like load up a chop. Uh, yeah. Be lightheaded and high and then fucking have like mad chest pain and <laughs> kind of almost suffocate for about uh, 10 seconds and then blast toys. Best high of your life. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, tobacco high was always just, it was a, it was a fun, like, ooh. And then, after ten seconds, it's like okay, I my body. But when hates you me. combine them, because it's like a spliff, but it's like a blaster spliff. <laughs> it's like a blast toy spliff. It's like you smoke a whole spliff in like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen it's... the? Uh, this is off topic, but uh, have you seen those people like smash or pass Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. I... Have you it's seen the like, ones where it's like realistic, kinda? Like they make no. them sexy. No, stop. I'm gonna. I'll send you a video of no. it, and I'm. I I kind of want. Hey guys, if we hit 15 Patreons, <laughs> me and Ganon <laughs> will smash and pass these uh, these uh, drawings. I'm not. <laughs> no, you don't want to. I don't know. Come on, actually, man. you know what? I'll give yeah, it a fucking whirl. Let's see if we can get yeah. down with it. Yeah, I mean, you can just say pass for all of them, but, I mean, we'll, we'll know your real intentions. Yeah, you can tell by my, the little flicker in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the eyebrow move, Sh- like, oh, shit, hold on. <laughs> God damn, you two look thick. <laughs> <laughs> Miko, shut up. Yeah, Miko. God, what, dude. You, unless you're saying smash or pass, bro, get the fuck out. Yeah, he's just saying fucking, I hate white people. God, Miko, what the hell? Miko. Yeah, I know. Way to be a racist. No, I'm just kidding. Miko's a saint. He would never do that except for blow up a children's hospital. God, did you see the fucking 4 o'clock news last night? Wait, was that a real thing? Yeah, he blew up a children's hospital. Miko did? Yeah. Why do you have him? (laughs) Huh? Get rid of him. No, he's cute. He's fine. (laughs) But the children, Chase. The children. I know it's bad. We don't we don't tolerate that behavior. But I mean, he's I don't know. I knew that little monopoly looking fuck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no fuck, fuck the he's monopoly like a good guy dude. too. Yeah, he has a mustache. If you guys have never seen my cat, he's got yeah, a dude, he does. He's got a mustache, bro. He's like a little distinguished cat. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a little puffball. He's so cute. Uh, he's just but he does he does. Uh, uh, execute terrorist attacks every uh, second Thursday of the month. Every second Thursday? Yeah, it's kind of weird. He, so yeah, there's, he no doesn't, count- like, there's no counter-strike? No, because he, he attacks at random places in the world. It's it's kind of weird. It's um, it's like a fucked up yeah. Carmen San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> but a cat. It's a cat. It's a terrorist. But it's Carmen San Diego. He nah, he's he's a lovely terrorist. Oh okay, yeah. 
But uh, are you, do you have any anything else with the mile high topic? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go into my topic. I only got one sent in by the uh, lovely. Uh, should I say his name? What's it start with? Who oh, is he? Fuck. Hey, he's been on the podcast. Yeah, Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Okay. okay. How to? Uh, he asked how to dismantle the IRS from the inside. So we were actually talking about taxes earlier in this podcast. I don't know if you were here for that, Gannon, but um, do you have any thoughts on this? How to take them out from the inside. First of all, you got to have to do the grunt work, become an auditor. Mm-hmm. Um, so then you could ha- actually have like the outside access, but yeah. to get to the inside, you're probably going to have to, you know, a couple of guys. And uh, then... But they're just tax collectors, so it's fine. They're not people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're not people. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, but, so, I don't really know, because I feel like the IRS is, like, almost like the Queen of England. Like, is it real? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Throwback. Throwback. <laughs> <laughs> is it real? I don't know, dude. All right, let me let me put in my two cents. We were just talking about how my cat's a terrorist. All you have to do is walk into an IRS building and bring my cat. Tell you that. Okay. I am in no way insinuating that we would actually do anything to an IRS building. This is just a disclaimer. Do not sue us yeah. or send or the anybody here. Different. That's a different topic, though. The workers there, different topic. No, they're just you know like I mean? you and me. They're they're just looking for a paycheck, you know. Mm. But it, the, but the paychecks are, like are money. <laughs> well, no, but it, it's not a lot. They don't make that much money. Like people that uh, like work, which is even at worse. The I know they're just signing up to do it for fucking free. I don't think they're signing up to do it for free. They're doing it because it's a job. Wait, okay, what 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 person is, like goes through their life and seriously looks at themselves and goes, dude. I want to be a tax auditor. <laughs> Fuck no, I mean, dude. nobody goes through their life saying, I want to be a tax auditor. It just is a job, you know? Just like how anything else is. But I feel like you need some kind of special qualifications. No, I, I, there are certain levels of the IRS that don't need college education. Because you're just like, sometimes it's just going through paperwork. Sometimes it's just like, Checking emails, running the website, you know, because they have a lot of different avenues that go. They have HR at the IRS, you know, like <laughs> it's just a it's. A, but the thing is, I think is what he's trying to talk about is the higher ups at the IRS. Mm. That's you know? where it gets tricky. Yeah, that um, those people are they absolutely went into the IRS and like, I want to fuck over poor people. Yeah. And those guys, I'm just kidding. Or am I? No. I don't know. Ah. The thing is, you know, uh, the reason why the IRS audits uh, poor people over, like, uh, richer people, the people with more money and probably break more laws and don't file their taxes correctly, it's because it costs so much money and like lawyer fees and just like trying to fight an audit for a rich person who can pay very expensive lawyers and legal teams to uh fight against an audit so that's why like the irs only targets poor people because they the, the poor people just can't fight back in any way unless we use our hands <laughs> well i mean you can you can physically assault an IRS agent, but at the end of the day, you still got to pay the tax. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, f- fuck, fuck, fuck all this celebrity boxing, bro. Fuck all this. Give me a Subway coupon and I'll fight Jeff Bezos. Bro. <laughs> so we'll start off with boxing, bro, for fucking Subway sandwiches, and then they have to give up half their their shit, gladiator style. Exactly. I think that's how it should work. I feel like you should instead, yeah, instead of celebrity boxing, we do celebrity boxing extreme, where just random employees at the companies that uh, they work for, they have to fight their boss. Dude, I'd be too down. They used to do that in the Navy. My my grandpa actually, <laughs> fun fact, he bo- he boxed one of his captains before. 
He boxed like a le- Hitler? One of his captains? How did you possibly... Oh. I mean, I wit. That'd be so sweet. <laughs> Especially if you beat his ass. ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if my grandpa was like the, the guy that beat fucking Hitler's ass? That'd be so... I, no, what if it. that's how it was? Like, inst- <laughs> like we history. the history books say Hitler killed himself in a bunker. What if he actually didn't? But he was just, like, kind of, like, there just being like, hey, guys, what's up? I made uh, waffles, Belgian. <laughs> uh, and, like, the U.S., like, army people just did a whole boxing ring with Hitler. Hitler had no consent into it because he's Hitler. He just kind of got what he deserved. But they probably just fucked his ass up, literally and physically, Yeah, <laughs> if you know what I mean. That is just funny <laughs> to think about, like an egomaniac. Never mind. Uh, is it <laughs> oh, justice? We don't know. And then, but I just think it's so cool that they do shit like that. And then we should do that now. Not Subway sandwiches. I take back my original thing. I want Chili's gift cards for my friends. If you do it, I'll box anybody. <laughs> I don't care. I've, when's the last time you had Chili's? A minute, bro. Do you seen these prices? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it's been a minute. I mean, yeah. I I love chili and stew. They got, they I got always, like, it, yeah, the cheap drinks. The, they sometimes. got the blooming onion, right? Oh, they that that onion is blooming. <laughs> uh, I always it's like a joke because there's a Chili's right next to uh, the King Supers that we always shop at, you know. Mm. And uh, I'm all we always pass by it after we're done, and I'm like, hey, you want to go to Chili's for lunch? And so I was like, no, why would we do that? I was like, well, Chili's is humble. They know they aren't high class. I love Chili's. It's in fucking, well, yeah, they know that. It's literally in fucking uh, Talladega Nights. Yeah. Well, everything, that's what I hate about, like, chain restaurants now, though. Everything's microwaved. I feel like it wasn't like that, like, when we were kids. But now Mm -hmm. everything is microwaved. I used to, like, for some reason, I feel like Frisch's isn't the same, bro. No, no, I think there was like a shift that happened. Maybe it was after like the the recession in 2008 cuz I feel like that might have been a reason why ingredients across the board just got shittier. They just needed to cut prices. They weren't able to like grow stuff locally because it was too expensive. You know what it is? Or- People can't smoke cigarettes inside. I'm just kidding. I'm just totally kidding. Do you remember this no Do you remember non-smoking and smoking sections growing up? Yeah, absolutely. That's insane. We lived like that was we were there. That happened. That wasn't. That I was, was always in the smoking section because my parents smoked. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Oh my god. We went to the yeah. I I mean, bro. The times were different. Times, times were, were different. different. Like obvious. I think they knew <laughs> the the effects of smoking, but they, uh, I don't know. But love you, mom and dad. Now I have lung cancer. <laughs> It's just, I mean, I've been drinking coffee since I was four. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's the truth. That, like, bro, I love, uh, my great-grandma was a straight, like, a woman of science. That's who took care of me. Like, my mm-hmm. great-grandma my great-grandpa at first. And um, they took care of me a lot. It was like, it's a long story. Back and forth between mom and dad, great-grandma. And, um, but my grandma, I love her to death. She's so cool. Um, but she would literally like have a thermos of coffee she'd have her coffee and then i'd have a thermos like a little like batman thermos next to hers with coffee yeah <laughs> well hell yeah it was like coffee coffee yeah but like, you probably you wonder why i have such a dependency now <laughs> this yeah, is deep, I, this is deeply rooted i used to be so scared of coffee because that there was like that thing where it was like it would stun your growth if you would drink coffee right? as a kid so I would I would have a fear of coffee <laughs> until I was like in high school I started drinking coffee more regularly and yeah. I just love it I can't go a day without having coffee <laughs> same well I mean I can, bro I can't I almost can't go a couple hours a week without it really <laughs> I'm just wow. kidding I'll I'll like I'll have I've went down to like two cups a day okay. probably that's not you know it used to be like a, a whole pot. I would I would have one to three cups every day. This is so good. It is good. 
bro, I go to gas. Uh, <laughs> I almost called it gaslight again. Ghost light coffee, bro. Yeah. Ghost light coffee. You went dude. there, dude. I went there. I I I go there quite like. I don't know, maybe once a week, bro. Nice. Um, it's so good. Like I, I, I know you brought it up when we were both were here, and I wish we would have went, cause dude, like, I had lavender coffee for the first time in in Ohio. I used to be able to get it in Arizona. Mm-hmm. I didn't think that was a thing out here yet, <laughs> yeah, bro. We're always behind. <laughs> I, I, dude, I know, I know, bro. I wore short shorts to the gym, not like short shorts, but like relatively short for like you know knee high and one midwest style those dixie um, cuts i mean like they bro they came quite a bit up the thigh but okay. i was comfortable bro i i can't i can't tell you how many people i made uncomfortable and i'm like you guys just aren't aren't here yet out west like people have these up to like their groins now you you you, are, you gotta catch up my guys but that's life you know Sorry about that, guys. We just had some technical difficulties. Um, we don't know what actually fully what happened. Oh, just my yet. God. Maybe it was um, the Epstein shit. Maybe this fucking FBI agent in our shit tapped us and is trying to stop our recording. Uh, 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 I don't like to think like that. Okay. Well, that's scary, actually. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, guys, yeah, we, we ran into some random technical difficulties, and that's, hmm, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Chase, if whatever happens, man, love you. Um, we went down swinging. <laughs> uh, we sh- we should definitely post this before. Yes. That shit happens. Absolutely. Um. So then they got it. Can't stop us then, baby. Yeah. Just Ha-ha. just for a random like disclosure, I'm not depressed. I've never had any suicidal thoughts. I love my life and my family. Uh, if I would never take my own life for any reason, absolutely not. Just putting that out there. Me? Different case? Fuck? Goddamn. Um, you probably would believe it. That's fine. I loved you anyways. I'll testify I still for do. Ganon. If he ever kind of just slips, slips the knot, if you know what I mean, uh, mm. it wasn't him. Yeah. Wasn't but, me. It hey was guys. the CIA. Yeah. Uh, we're not we're not saying names. We would never uh, Oh yeah. Just, we would never, you know, just assume something That's like true. that would happen. I, but yeah, I just throw out random letters all the time. Uh yeah. um uh NYC, uh YMCA, um uh NASA LMAFAO Rar X D. Um <laughs> But anyways, guys, like uh, like Ian was saying, we love you. Uh, we hope for the best. And we hope that one day the revolution will come to fruition. Mm-hmm. And quickly for peacetime and prosperity for everyone. Yeah. But uh, anyways, guys, we have the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Go check us out there. We also have the Patreon. Link will be in the bio as always. Uh, we love you. My name was Chase. And I was, am, and will always be Ganon, even if the CIA kills me. Peace out. Bye. Peace. (laughs) (laughs) This might be our final goodbye.